ordered some lost luggage off of the internet. You might think, how can you possibly buy someone's lost luggage? Well, when you don't collect it, it goes to auctions, then we buy it and donate it to charity. So we've already opened this online, but the thing about this one is they have to be close to us. So we're going to show you what we got in this and see if we can find them. We need to show you guys the suspicious cues that make us think they've got to live within a two hour radius around us. Let's go. This is about our seventh suitcase so far. I would say this suitcase belongs to someone in their 20s or 30s, maybe a young couple. And I think her name could begin with the letter E. I'm pretty sure this one could have came from the hotel room. Lots of designer clothes in here, a lot of Hugo Boss, but these as well, Glasgow Rangers, that was our first suspicion. A few of these you can tell someone has been through them before you've bought the suitcase, but this one I feel like was untouched. And it was very sandy. Everything was sandy. Sure, roll on deodorant, sanitary pads, make me look young cream. But the bonus ball in this was a souvenir coin of the Blackpool Tower. Blackpool is only an hour and 40 that way and Glasgow is only about an hour and a half that way. So they've got to be near us somewhere. They've got to be. Is this your clothes? Let us know. Are you still together? Mm. That could be awkward. This could be very awkward. I'm holding on to this for a week before I donate it to see if we can find the original owners. 